Hello kids, welcome to the class. So today we are going to learn how to do addition of fraction when the denominators are different. That is unlike fraction. So here first we have a question is 2 upon 3 plus 5 upon 6. Okay, so whenever you find a question with regards to addition, always remember is that you have to follow this first step which is go and check the denominator and check whether these two numbers are related. Here what you see that 3 and 6 are related. That means you can make the denominator same. That is, you can convert this unlike fraction to fra like fractions. How to do it? First take the number, first fraction. So, 2 upon 3. Now, find the equivalent fraction for this by changing the denominator to number 6. So, how is it possible? By multiplying it by 2. Multiply both numerator and denominator by 2. And that helps us in getting the fraction 4 upon 6. Now, instead of 2 upon 3, we are going to take the, the fraction as 4 upon 6. Now, go and add 4 upon 6 by 5 upon 6. Easy. Simply add the numerators. Get an answer as 9 upon 6. Now, what do you observe? Will this be a final answer? No. Why? Because you can see that this can be reduced to the simplest form. So what you observe 9 and 6 both goes in the table of 3. So divide so it becomes 3.2. Now do they go in any one table? No. But what do you observe? That it is a improper fraction. And when you find improper fraction what you are supposed to do? Convert it into a mixed fraction. So just simply divide. So the answer will be 1. And upon 2. So the answer of 2 upon 3 plus 5 upon 6 is 1, 1 upon 2. I know it is looking very confusing but as you keep on practicing it becomes very very easy and you will start solving the way I am solving it right now. Now let's take another question where you find that the denominators are not at all related. So what to do when you find some question like this where you cannot find an equivalent fraction or you know you cannot multiply or divide anything cannot do anything in the denominator where you can you know get the same denominator so what you have to do is just simply go and multiply both numerator and denominator by the number present in the denominator of other fraction that is simply go and multiply both numerator and denominator by 8 and that gives you answer as 24 upon 40 now take another fraction that is 5 upon 8 and multiply it with the denominator of the first fraction which is 5. So the answer you get is 25 upon 40. What you are going to do instead of taking this old fractions you are going to make use of this new two fractions. Simply go and add now these two fractions. What do you observe? Denominators are same. That is, the job is easy now. So just simply go and add. Gives you 29 upon 40. Now, will this be your final answer? Can you divide both numerator and denominator by one single number? No. So now check, is it a improper fraction? Yes. So what you have to do? Convert it into the mixed fraction. So just simply divide mostly it most of the time you are able to find this type of simple division only okay so you don't have to worry at all and yes please don't forget this step because it also carries the marks why to simply lose marks for such a simple small step make a habit of looking for the simplest form so the answer of 3 upon 5 plus 5 upon 8 will be 1 9 upon 1 so this is how you are supposed to solve the fractions where the denominators are not seen that is it is a unlike fraction hope you have understood please don't forget to subscribe meet you in the next class till then take care bye bye